Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Monster Train. It's your morning commute for once, and I actually mean it. Uh, and we'll have to see how we do. So, we've been on hiatus for a little while. I needed a break. Uh, we're gonna get back into this and try to relearn everything. <clears throat> because the game's hard, it turns out. Uh, at least game's hard to do well in. So, we got Awoken. Good start. I like Awoken and Dreg. It's a card I can leave at the door and be relatively happy with. Uh, Mansion, plus stone each four is good. Enemy units enter with spikes one. Doesn't really bother me. Brawl is a problem. Uh, Brawl is one of those ones that pops up and you'd be surprised just how much more powerful it is for the enemy than it is for you most of the time. Uh, largely because they just have more units to make benefit of it. So instead of just getting like plus five or plus ten damage on a floor, you get like... I know about Nook Miles. I don't even have the switch anymore. Um, like you end up in a situation where they're getting like plus 10, plus 15, plus 20 damage on a floor. It's painful, dude. So we got Daedalus uh, with uh, the damage shield. We got Fell with the spell shield. And we got Seraph the patient. And we don't have the ability to silence. So we have to play this uber safe if we can. Uh, when you play the third card of your turn, draw one. Pretty solid. I also like the Boon of the Blacksmith here, but the third card of turn and drawing a card is extremely good when you have access to stuff like Dregs. Um, it allows you to combo a little bit harder, gives you access to more options over the course of a turn. I think it's the better pick. Uh, the Pyre one is, like, great as long as, you know? Alright, Cultivating here is a fantastic thing for us, actually. I like Spikes. I do. But having access to Cultivate means that, um... You know, we're drawing an additional one each turn, which allows us to actually make good use of some more of these guys here. So I'm okay with it. I also appreciate the additional HP. And uh, if we can somehow combo that into the uh, Restoration one, where it does damage every time we heal the unit, oh man, we are going to love our lives. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Uh, hello. So we're going to put you out there. We're going to put you out there. We're going to cast this out there and get gets us an additional card. We might as well slam these two out there, because what else are we going to do with our lives? And then go hog wild. So we've almost killed one of them. Excuse me. Okay, you go out there, you kill him. No problem. If you come out here... We slap this on you. Yep, yeah, okay. Now, up here. This is an issue. Okay, we're doing some damage that way, at least. Alright, this isn't the uh, best thing on the planet, because our dude is taking a lot more damage than I'd really like to admit. But the Cultivate is helping. Are you dying? Yes. Are you dying? No. Let's guarantee the death then. Uh, let's go for a couple of these. Just try to get a little bit of extra regen out there. You have a million burnout, huh? Oh, you're absolutely killing us. Okay, cool. Uh, now we're killing you. Cool. We barely survived. Again, it turns out that when they've got, you know, 10, 20, 30 more HP per floor and do a bit more damage than you do, it, it hurts. Uh, let's go for Restoration Detonation. We are taking a lot of damage, and that will help us greatly. Out of these, Draft would be okay if we had the ability to mold it out. We don't. Uh, the benefits of it, though, are quite strong. Being able to do 30 damage, it's got 15 HP, so it doesn't go down super easily. We can give it Wicklash to really pump it up, which is nice, to say the least. It would be ideal if we could find a way to just resurrect it, though, and we have not, sadly. Um, this is interesting. If we decide to go down this route. Um, because the sleigh is a sweep. Uh, the problem is that it doesn't do enough damage yet. We'd have to really just amp the damage hard in order for that sleigh to really kick in. And three damage as compared to the ten extra HP that people are getting is not as strong as I'd like it to be. Uh, we can amp up the damage. We have access to the razor sharp edge and the wick lashes. Uh, which both help. Hmm. You know what? I I'll go for it. I'll go for it. There's definitely, uh, there's definitely a, a way to make this work. I do think we go down the creature improving route, however, and we try to go for one of the animuses, and we did. That's actually big. Um, even though the, you know, they have spikes and stuff, it, it should be fine. Uh, Shattered Shell having 18 damage means that it actually does something, so I'm pleased about that. Battlestone works really well on the animus here. Um, Endless works fantastically on this draft. We put it out there, it's a 30 damage assassin. I can't be mad about that. Alright, let's see what we can do. Okay, we got a Sweeper, which sucks, and units start on every floor. Um, not where we want to be, uh, particularly since they all have Rage. This is a Game Ender already, I think? Um, I'd love to say it's not, but it totally is. I I'll put you out there just so you die, but like... 
So we can apply Burnout 2 to you. There's no guarantee it works out in the long run, though. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Alright, so, uh, at this point... 32 damage. We should be able to survive if I do it like this. And we did. Excellent news. Okay, now down here, I'm putting out the draft. I don't have the mana to do anything else. The good news is that he's endless. I should put the draft on the middle floor, too. It's kind of the lesson I'm learning. Okay, cool. Dude's dead. Toss this out there. Um, put out the draft. Put out the razor sharp edge here, because it should help. Give this one a little bit more HP, and just, like, give it a turn. I don't mind if he comes back next turn. Okay, big deal. Slam that in there. Then, slam this in there. Then... Cool, we killed him. That's actually a big deal. Toss out a couple of these on top of that, and suddenly we're looking like roses. It, you know what's really making this a very big difference? Mansion is huge. Uh, instead of having big chungus, where the problem is that we just don't have enough room on every floor, we have so much room on each floor that even the dregs are actually a massive boost to our damage, especially with Brawl. Like We're actually benefiting the same way from it that the enemies are. While the sap is okay, the problem is that we aren't benefiting from it immediately, but we can it later on for sure. Um, and then out of these, Purifying Cleanse would be fine. We're not for the fact that it applies Burnout. Um, burnout makes it such that it's being put on units they don't want it to be put on. Dripfall is probably our guess here. Now, we have a decent amount of dollars. We could uh, try to upgrade some spells. Now, which spells would I want to upgrade? Restoration Detonation. 100% without a question. Would love that. Uh, you have a Paraffin Thug. That's an interesting pickup there because of the extra money it could give. We're starting to feel really thick, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that. What's our shopping list look like? We got Remove, Consume. Okay. Okay. These are options. Uh, not options I love, but options. Uh, I'll take the dangerous ones. Dante's Candle. Get something lighter. Uh, I'm not sure if I can afford to take Dante. Now, I like Dante, but everybody's got Spikes one. But Dante does have an additional plus five already. Hmm. We already have a Dante of sorts with Animus of Will. Uh, the other thing is that it increases our magic power. Does magic power matter for us? Uh, Restoration Detonation likes it. The Restores kind of like it. But not really. I can't help. Sorry, Dante. Like, normally I, I'd, I'd take you up on that offer. Today's not that day. So do I want to remove consumer? Do I want to gamble? Let's gamble. I'm a gambling man. It didn't work out quite as well for me as I would have liked. Now that said, Wildwood Sap, Regen 10, not bad. It's the plus 10 magic power though that I think we really need. Making Restoration Detonation just kind of come across as a little bit easier to cast is really good. Uh, making Drip Fall always kind of work is kind of important too. Uh, I think that we're going to purge a card as well. So there goes the Train Steward. At least we got that far. Uh, and then use this to remove, to sorry, to remove the cost from uh, Restoration Detonation. I'd be okay if I gave it either another Power Stone or if I could give it Holdover. Uh, those would be the two big ones. I don't really need to worry about the cost because I will prioritize the cost. That's fine. Um, the things that really need to make sure I can get them off to like do stuff, Drip Fall, like in a in a pinch, absolutely needs to be cast when it needs to be cast. So um, I'll make it happen. It's also really helpful for trying to. Um, you know, jimmy together a situation where we can maybe even get an early kill on somebody. Right? So, let's try to work that one out. Alright, out you come, out you do that. Let's go ahead and put some regen on you, and then, um, we can stop a good chunk of the damage from coming out. If I put out the dreg. The issue there is if I put out the dreg... You know, I'll stop. I'll, I'll stop a, a huge chunk of the damage from coming out. That's fine. Yeah, that's the thing. All right, Animus of Will coming out. Huge deal. Come on down to Paradise City, friend. Something, something about the girls are pretty. Uh, you have a bomb on you. That's a that's a that's a, that's a bomb. Okay. Toss that out there. Okay, I think that should hurt him enough that we can kill him on the next floor. You are taking actual damage now. The bomb sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and make that abundantly clear. Boink. So does that, though. <laughs> Alright, you should be dead. 
Trains third. Enjoy that. Uh, now, down here. I think that that's worth it. Largely because the plus 10 damage is triple, so that's actually just a plus 30 damage. And turns out, great news. Let's go to a different floor to cast this. Um, we're going to Whiplash this guy immediately, actually. Yeah, and I mean, look at the amount of damage he's dealing now. We now have a Whiplash target. And a Razor Sharp Edge target. Here, come on down. I have a feeling you're going to really hate what I've got in store for you. 192 damage. Okay. So the good news is, dude's absolutely fried. And there's nothing you can do about it, which feels even better. Like, if we had been lucky, we could have killed him first turn. Well, not first turn, but we could have killed him a lot sooner. Ooh. Hmm. There's something interesting. Uh, the Awoken's Rail Spike is easily one of the stronger cards in the game. It's one of my favorite cards in the game. Uh, these we can skip, because our guys are not dying anymore. And then, what would I want to do? Draw more cards? I think the drawing more cards is helpful. We don't have the energy base to make it work yet. But with uh, Awoken Rail Spike, that might end up being the case. So let's, let's go ahead and pick up the extra draw cards. I think that that consistency would be really helpful. Uh, we kind of have to go down the right side and potentially try to upgrade some units, get some HP, and more importantly, remove two cards, which would be really good for our consistency. Or we go down the other side and try to gamble on a on an artifact and pick up some free money so that way next round we can go after another artifact or two and some creature upgrades i think that that's what we're going to go for uh start turn add a sting spell to your hand it's pretty sweet uh regen adding an additional plus one per stack is actually really solid for us uh, i think it effectively doubles the effectiveness of it uh sting sting does not work well with seraph the patient so we're going to go for the regen one here and then awoken banner Kind of a yikes for me, dog. Uh, <laughs> let's see what the Dark Forge has for us. Spikes 10, Cultivate, Cultivate 2 this time. So the problem here is that we're not drawing the one I want. The upside is it's still okay. And it's a lot of HP. Dude's dude's tanky, uh, which means that our uh, Restoration Detonation is going to do some nasty stuff. Multi-Strike actually, holy cow, uh, would normally help us a lot. But in this case, I'm a wee bit afraid. Um... Let's just slap that on there and then put out a couple of these boys. Get them out of the deck. Get them ready to take on the world. 43 damage, though. Uh, here's the good news. Restoration detonation exists. Here's the bad news. I'd rather not die. <laughs> so you're not dying. You are dying. You need to take some more damage before you die. Well, it's a perfect time for draft, then. All right, cool. We're killing the floor. Now, this is an ideal situation because we got three mana we're not using. So immediately cast this and voila. Excellent situation for us to be in because you are free. Um, I'd rather not take all that damage, please. I don't want to whiplash anybody. And you might as well go here just in case, eh? What do you think? Restoration donation, please. Thank you. Could not have asked for better timing on that bit myself. Daze you. Razor sharp edge. You know what? Slam out this draft and give him some Wicklash while we're at it, and suddenly we're really kind of kicking it. Okay, heal up, please. The extra regen healing is obviously doing some decent work here. I don't know what to tell you, I think we made the right choice. Slam you down for one, do this, give you the Razor Sharp Edge, and I mean, like, look at this deck! It's actually working! It's actually working! Alright, what do you do? Spikes deal plus one damage per stack. Uh, we don't tend to have spikes. Ever. It is really good, though. And it's not to say that spikes would be bad. I know that there's at least one card I can think of that would make spikes, like, kick. Um, Awake is really good. Hmm. And I can see Channel Sonic being nasty on, like to uh, like most of the creatures that we could have this is a, this is a weird situation right now though awake is very strong it heals for 30 and then adds regen 3 which is another 6 plus uh, 6 10 12 hp on top of that that's 42 hp 
Um, it, it it would beat restore if we could get it low enough in terms of cost. So let's let's go for it. It allows us to remove more cards down the line. Uh, all these are a big pass. All right, let's see what we can do. Now I said I want to go down the right side. I still think that that's the right way to go here, as it effectively is just add more money, get another free artifact. Friendly is get plus one per stack of st spikes. Okay, look. Now you're making things interesting. Uh, adding a multi strike to the shattered shell would allow it to really slap. So let's go for that. Uh, burnout one on the draft means it's doing 40 damage when it comes out, and no matter what, it's going to live two turns. That's a big deal to me. Uh, we could put another battle stone on our animus of will, and I think that's actually that's actually really solid. The 33 HP means it'll live forever. Uh, purging a card here, train stewards can go, and I'll be very pleased about it. Uh, I'll even spend a bunch of money on that, I think. But let's let's check the next rung see, is, and see first. Uh, I think the next rung... The next rung is going to be a tough one. Because I want to remove. I would love to duplicate. And then we got fell. And then after that, I'd like to go ahead and upgrade my spells and stuff. Or remove and add more to creatures. Um... The next... We're not going to we're not gonna spend money for a little bit. So let's go ahead and, and spend money now. To upgrade our consistency for the rest of our deck. Um... Adding another plus 10 is not going to help to anything. Yeah, okay, cool. We could have gone for a large stone. I'm glad that we did not, though, because large stone, as tempting as it is, does take up space. Mark of Invasion. They start on every floor. Yikes. And it's Lifesteal Sweep. Yikes again. Okay, out you come. Out you come. I'm just going to slap you down there, then. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? You sweep and slay. You're not going to do all that much, though. Because you only do eight. Let's get these two jokers out of my deck, then. And we can kill at least one of them. Which is worth some of its weight in gold. <laughs> um, if we put you up here, I think that this is worthwhile, since it kills the entire floor. Like, fair enough, right? Toss that out there. Use this to really reduce your HP. We could have woken rail spike, but it's not going to do very much. How about I do this instead, and that problem is more or less solved. Uh, and we can go ahead and do this. Kill, at least badly hurting one of you. And so long as we can just put a tank up up here, which we can. Oh, you're sweeping. That's a problem. Here, how about I solve that problem? <laughs> you know, sometimes... Sometimes the best answers are the ones that uh, involve us not having to worry about too things too much. Uh, Restoration Detonation, man. It's a thing. Okay. Restoration Detonation could work here, just because, like, you're hurt. Um, slam you down. We do have a Razor Sharp Edge, which helps. You know what? I'll, I'll use this now, because I've got nothing else better to do. Uh, we could just slap it on you, but I'm going to wait, actually. We're minus our sweeper down here, which is an issue. So I would like to make sure that you live long enough that things are interesting. There we go. Look at the look at those two. As long as they live for longer than two seconds, we got we got something going on. We'll drip fall you for sure. But now we need to make sure that okay, and this is free, so we might as well. Okay, now you're the one who's dying, which is excellent news. Okay, so here's the good news. He's dead. And I do mean just, just, though. So, like, you know, don't catch chickens before they hatch. We lost the majority of our stuff there, but don't worry about it too much. And Graft here would be solid. Um, I think that hilariously Pyre Shards, because of the way that we got stuff kind of racking up here, is actually a top-tier card for us. Let's go ahead and skip. Just because it means that we are uh, doing a little bit more uh, more often. Okay, we're going to go down this way. We're going to pick up an extra removal. Double removal at this point. Now that it's really expensive, this double removal is pretty key. Um, the dregs are actually interesting in some, in some capacity. But... It's too hard to cast anything. Like, it's too hard to get rid of. Hellvent... Uh, yeah, that's that's an idea. We could also go for a second of restoration detonation. Um, it's it's a bit of a tougher call. We could also do invigorating solution to kind of get our deck set up a little bit more quickly. Uh, I think another option would be just to have another animus of will. It's not terrible. 
But I'm going to go for the Awoken Rail Spike here. It's such an easy duplicate target because it always does what it says on the tin. And if you just need to get rid of it, you can. So, Alabaster Guardians, these guys have spell shields. They all slap pretty hard. I'll go ahead and toss this out now. Cool, that goss or animus will right out of the gate. And now the deck is officially slapping. Um, I would like to minimize the damage on my on my person for like two seconds then. Thank you. Okay, the Sweep Slayer is absolutely slapping now. Uh, if you could just have some spikes, thank you, game. Yeah, you're an encanter, so let's go ahead and uh, do stuff up here for a second. Boom, nice. Sadly, we only have one other one other like thing I want to do, which is that. Uh, the good news is it's still doing more than enough. Okay, and you take the majority of this. Like, yeah, we're taking some damage off of this, but like our main person is still alive. So that's worth a lot to me. Now, here's where things get interesting. We could slap you down. Uh, you're hurt. That works to our advantage now. Okay, 212. It's not a bad amount of damage at all. Can we get Dripfall again? <laughs> oh, baby, please. Okay, so that's excellent news. Two hundred nine damage. Okay, no drip fall this time, and that's probably fine. Uh, restoration detonation. I could probably put that on. Uh, let's see. You could use it the most. Give this to you. Give this to you to keep you up and running. Okay, now we need to put it on our uh, friend here, or we could just awake. Mmm, there's an option. Also, come on down to Paradise City, please. 317. 408. 470. We're not using this one right now. Okay, no drip fall this time, and that's probably okay. Restoration detonation on this one is going to do some work. I'll drift fall anyway? <laughs> like, why not? Final wave. So we didn't get to kill you early, but boy howdy, do we put a number on you. Uh, I think you're dead turn one, and there's literally nothing you can do about it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Deck works. <laughs> Remove the rare pack. I don't need any of that. Give me a uh, card draw each turn. Okay, now I wanted to go down the right side. I'm gonna stick by what I said. 430 gold says it's not a bad plan. Sting spells can put down energy power and piercing. I feel bad for not taking the sting spells earlier. I, I'm gonna skip it, sadly. Uh, concealed caverns. Monster rail spike. Uh, we could make our drag just an absolute beast for once in its life. Or we can enhance the spell once. And like putting that on a restore here isn't bad because it makes it free, but more importantly, uh, it gets it out of our deck. And restore is like okay, but we're not casting it anymore. We have other priorities. Holdover is kind of key. Uh, plus 10 magic power would be better on a variety of different things, but I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the cost of awake by one, re roll it. Uh, reduce the cost of awake by one, and now we have just way better regen. Plus ten magic power doesn't do too much, uh, and permafrost doesn't do too much. I'll go ahead and remove a card then. And if we're gonna remove a card, there goes another drag. I think. Yeah, we're gonna do another drag in this case. The the drags are not what we're looking for. Now you, if you're not gonna give me restoration, and you didn't. You did give me spikes. Now, spikes is interesting at this point, because although we could draw plus three every turn, and that's, like, nice. The spikes at this point deal plus one damage per stack, so that's 20 damage every time someone smacks me, which is a lot. And the gnarled root means that it actually does, she actually does damage, too. Um, and we're drawing, like, plus four every turn? So, like, yeah, I, I think we're going to go for the spikes now. Now that you've given me the option, I'll go ahead and spice up my life. Spike up my life, as it were. See if we get lucky. I mean, it's going to throw the armor 20. Oh, okay, look. We're effectively offsetting that by putting you down. Now, we're going to put the Shattered Shell down first, because Shattered Shell going down first is good. Put you down after. Um, if you could not. 
if you could. All right, interesting. The multi the multi striking super baddies are a bit of a problem. Uh, the draft here can do some decent damage. Of that, there's no doubt. Light a fire, then pee it out. Don't like it, then kiss my rump. Then just for a minute, let's all do the bump. Um, I don't know why I'm singing that right now. More fire shards. Doesn't hurt. Toss that out there. Restore HP. Might as well get out of my deck for, from now until the end of time. Goodbye, Collector. We never knew you uh, very well. A drip fall would be if, like stellar. Thank you. Okay, we're killing the one. Now, we need to come down here to give you some bonuses because we're not doing enough damage. Is the problem? You understand? Cool. Good kill. Awake. Very nice. Um, we are stabilizing. You're still alive, though. No longer. Now, down here. Everything's dying, but so is our man. Now she's not. Calm down. Yeah. Okay. I think now is the time when we awoken Rail Spike as much as possible. I'll happily stop your damage. And sadly, we couldn't get Restoration Detonation to work here. Brief respite. Thank you. Okay, at this point, we are stacking up as much as we can to heal. Hello. Okay, they're dead. Already, which is like stellar news. And that'll make things easier. Okay, cool. Look, I, I, at this point, I don't know why I'm just not hitting the end button. Like, just, if they're dead already, let it go. Let it go. We got 32,000. It's a solid place to be. Lots of mana. Um, we don't want any of those. Don't want any of those. Okay, interesting situation. Now, down on the one side, we can duplicate and remove and really can make our deck consistent, but we don't need the creature upgrades. On the other side, get a little bit of extra dough, some pyre HP in case if things go really south, but more importantly, some upgrades. Uh, making the Awoken Rail Spike a little bit more efficient is good. Hold over. <laughs> Yeah, that works. But what would I? What else would I want to put hold over on? Really, sincerely. All right. Before we spend any more money there, let's check out our artifacts. Okay. Okay. Nothing immediately just kind of stands up. I'll spend fifty to see. Ho ho ho! There we go. Oh yeah. Uh, we still don't want hold over on anything though. Whoa! Don't abandon the run. Uh. Okay. Seraph the patient. Seraph the Patient's a problem, but now we have X plus 3, which ends up being X plus 4 because of the upgrades we just gave. So, we should theoretically be able to make our deck pretty efficient. Pretty efficient indeed. Uh, I hate this. Because this wants me to... This is forcing me, effectively, to play up here. Which I desperately don't want to do. So I will set up down here instead if I must. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Okay, free restoration detonation plus the rest of my deck kind of coming into play now is pretty sick. Uh, the draft up here will die if I just put it out there. But if I put out a draft and then a drag... It's still not enough to stop him, huh? Okay, never mind. Uh, I thought that I was going to be real smart and be able to kill him, but 15 kills, then 31 kills. I'd have to have one more creature up there to do this. Or some means of killing you. Which I actually just don't have. So, awake. Might as well start stacking the regen. Put out the damage here. Uh, more 
More regen. All the regen in the world. Okay. Good setup, sadly. We just lost a million points there. That that's uh, that's that really. I wish I could cast more of this. I think I have to just kind of stick with the one spell though, which is this one. We can reduce the damage we take by a lot, but just by doing that. Go to a different floor, cast this. Um, I want to cast the rest of my deck, specifically this. And he's only getting plus one per spell I play. So there's no need to play anything else. Let's let it go. Hate this, though. Okay, hold off on that for a second. Okay, grab this. Play it. Right? Awake. Cool. Restoration detonation. Cool. Rest again. With that, no problem. Add some restores here. The regen's now through the through the roof. 24 HP just because I exist is really, really solid. And I'll be happy to drip fall you so that we do no damage and then just take 100 and something. And you're getting away scot-free. Lame. And you bounced upstairs of all places. This is atrocious. Okay, at least we killed you now. Now, down here. Uh, you actually do something now with Restoration Detonation, so I'll be happy to do that. Awake, just give you the regen you need. And yeah, I'll, I'll Whiplash this guy twice, why not? Dude's now super dead, but like... Upside? Oh, I should not have done that first. That's all we can do down there, sadly. Um, we can also toss the Drip Fall down there, so that way we get the kill and he lives for a turn for no reason at all. Like, I don't know why I'm actually buffing him. I should stop. Okay. 441 damage is pretty good. Okay, now at this point we can actually happily start like actually increasing people's HP and doing our thing down here. Restoration Detonation actually does something on this character. You know what? Drip fall him. If he's going to be melee weakness and all that stuff, just put him in the back. Give him all the heals he needs. Cool. If Seraph comes back downstairs, which he did, he's going to take a rollicking. And he does, but at a pretty extreme cost. Okay, cool. That's a little better. Um, yes, I will amp up your encant. To do like a bajillion more damage. That's it though. The drip fall makes a big difference. Okay, so at this point, we're taking damage, but it almost doesn't matter because we're doing enough back that we're actually totally fine. Um, yep, just apply all these. Yeah, he's already dead, but I really like rubbing it in Seraph's face, okay? Look at this. This is a solid run. Did I have anything super cheesy? No. No, the run just kind of worked. And 41,000 points is by no means a bad score. Am I looking to get top place every day? Not anymore. I, I taste the greatness a couple of times and I kind of let it get to my head and now I need to remember, you know what, it's not always about winning. Okay? If you don't know about the Warhammer competitive scene, Nick Nanavati is like an excellent player. He doesn't always win. But he's still considered one of the best players in the game. And you know what? I'm happy with my score. My score is fine. 41,000 points is a good place to be on most runs in general. And like in this situation, sure, it's not 50,000. It's not 46,000. But like, you know what? We're up there. We did all right. Compared to the, I mean, we're only five hours in or something like that. But there's like 491 people. We made it 60th. I'll take it. I'll take it. Solid run. Thanks for watching. Hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the follow button. Subscribe belt. Sorry. Hit the bell for notifications when these videos go live. And I'll see you folks on the next morning commute. Bye.